so given the polynomial term of the form that is uh, that is you have a a x power b right where uh, a is constant okay coefficient and uh, b is also a constant okay um, which is an uh, constant exponent right so now uh, let us uh, take the derivative of this with respect to x so d by dx of a x to the power of b that will be b a x to the power of b minus 1 okay so so let us look at few examples corresponding to them so d by dx of 5 x cube okay so uh, here uh, which is related to a phi which is a constant coefficient okay and b which is 3 which is again a constant exponent okay so this is 3 into 5 x to the power of 3 minus 1 so which is 15 x square so let us solve this problem so this is i mean um, a uh, here 6 is the uh, coefficient constant and the exponent um, is 2 by 3 so it is 2 by 3 multiplied into 6 x to the power of 2 by 3 minus 1 okay so this after cancelling you get 4 okay, x to the power of minus 1 by 3 So let us take this uh, problem. Uh, uh, this is d by dx of uh, 3x to the power of half. Or this is d by dx of 3 power half and x to the power of half. Okay. So this will be uh, 1 by 2 into 3 to the power of half x to the power of um, minus 1 by 2 or you can write this as root 3 by 2 multiplied uh, 1 by root x or uh, 1 by 2 this will be this both are the roots. So this will be a root of 3 by x. Now let us solve this problem. So this will be uh, again d by dx of 6x cubed minus d by dx of uh, 12x. So this is 18x uh, squared minus 12. Now let us uh, find the derivative of this. So this is 4 multiplied um, 8 x to the power of 3 or uh, this is 32 x cube. Okay. Now this is uh, uh, minus 2 multiplied 5 x to the power of minus 3 or 
you can write this minus 10 by x cube. So let us solve this problem. So this is uh, 7 by 4 uh, multiplied into 8 x to the power of 7 uh, by 4 minus 1. Okay. Or we can write this as 56 by 4 x to the power of 3 by 4. Which uh, results as 14 x to the power of 3 by 4. Now, uh, let us find the derivative of this. So, this is 3 by 5 multiplied 1 by 6 x to the power of uh, 3 by 5 minus 1, which is minus 2 by 5. And uh, this results to 1 by 10 x to the power of 2 by 5. Now let us solve these derivatives. So uh, 1 by root x can be written as uh, d by dx of x to the power of minus half. Now this will be uh, minus half into uh, x to the power of uh, minus half minus 1 which is minus 3 by 2 or uh, can write this as as 1 by, my, uh, this is minus 2 x to the power of 3 by 2. Fine. Now let us look at another problem. <laughs> let us solve this. Uh, 5 x cubed plus 4 x square minus 3 x plus 2. Okay. Now, this on this. <laughs> yeah. So it's of x cube plus four into d by dx of x square minus three d by dx of x and then this is d by dx of constant. So this will be uh, 3 into 5 which is 15 x squared. Uh, this will be 4 into 2 which is 8 x and this is minus 3. Okay, And the, uh, the constant term is 0. And let us uh, differentiate with respect to t. So d by dt of root t minus 1 by so this can be uh, done as d by dt of t to the power of half okay minus d by dt of t to the power of minus 1 okay so this will be t to the power of half is uh, half t to the power of minus half minus this is uh, minus t to the power of minus 2 or uh, we can write this as 1 by 2 root t and this is plus 1 by t square. So let us look at another topic. Okay. So if you consider the function uh, f of u is a function of variable one variable and um, u of x is itself a function of a second variable which is x then the chain rule may be applied in order to find a derivative of the function which is f of um, u of x okay with respect to the second variable uh, that is okay d by uh, df by dx is equal to df by du multiplied du by dx. So f of u, which is an outside function, and u of x, 
is called the inside function okay and the chain rule basically states that df by dx which is equal to the product of the uh, uh, derivatives uh, of the outside function and the inside function that is df by du and uh, inside function du by dx Now uh, the product rule allows you to take a, a derivative of two different functions that is uh, f of x and g of x okay of the same argument which is x right when the functions is multiplied together f into g so a g into df by dx plus f into d by dg by dx okay The quotient rule allows you uh, to, to take a derivative of two different function that is f of x and g of x, right? Uh, of the same argument, which is x here. Okay, when the functions are being divided, so d by dx of uh, f of g is equal to g into df by dx minus f into dg by dx divided by g square. Now let us perform uh, the following derivative with respect to x. So um, here uh, by applying the uh, chain rule uh, df by dx is equal to df by du multiplied du by dx. So if you consider u as 2x square minus 5, so f of u will be u to the power of 5 so which is u of x is 2x square minus 5 okay so uh, this will be uh, df by dx uh, df by du multiplied du by dx okay so this is um, d by du of u power 5 and d by dx of 2x square minus 5. Okay, So this is 5 u power 4 into this will be 4x okay? or 220x sorry 20x uh, u power 4. Okay? So this uh, let us uh, substitute what is u we have taken. So this is 20 into x, 2x square minus 5, power 4. Now, uh, here the variable is t. So differentiating with respect to t, using again the chain rule. So u is equal to t cube minus 8. So f of u will be uh, square root of uh, u, which is u to the power of half, and u of t, which is t cube minus 8. So df by dt is df by du multiplied du by dt. So this is d by du of u to the power of half and d by dt this is t cube minus 8 or now this will be u to the power of half right so it is half into u to the power of minus half okay so this will be 3 t square okay and now when you substitute this or let us rewrite this root u 3t square right so u is t cube right so 3t square by 2 into root uh, t cube minus 8 
now we'll make uh, use of the, uh, the product rule here. So uh, f of g, f of x is is 3x power 4 minus 7. And uh, g of x will be 2x cubed minus 6. So d by dx and of f into g, which is g into df by dx plus f into dg by dx. Okay, so let us solve this. This will be uh, 2x cubed minus 6, and uh, this is d by dx of 3x power 4 minus 7. Okay, and plus 3x power 4 minus 7 and d by dx of 2x cubed minus 6. So this results as 2x cubed minus 6 into this will be 12x cubed and uh, this is 3x power 4 minus 7 multiply 6x squared or Further simplifying, this is 42 x power 6 minus 72 x cubed minus 42 x squared. Now, uh, let us apply uh, the, uh, the quotient rule here. So, f of x is x power 4. 3x square minus 6 and uh, g of x is x square plus 1. Right? So uh, d by dx of f by g, which is g into df by dx minus f into dg by dx divided by g square. Okay. So this is x square plus 1. Now, the differentiation of x power 4 plus 3x square minus 6 would be 4x cubed plus 6x and the constant which is 0 minus f, f is x power 4, 3x square minus 6 within brackets and uh, this will be 2x divided by d square, which is x square uh, plus 1 whole square. Okay. So on simplifying this, uh, get the final answer as 2x power 5 plus 4x cubed plus 18x divided by x power 4 plus 2x squared plus 1. Yeah, this is the final answer. I hope this is this was useful for you.